Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've listed all the ingredients in the description box. So if you guys decide to try this out, then don't forget to tag me in your pictures. I would love to see. And this is a pretty straightforward tutorial and I really hope it helps you guys. So inshallah it does. And without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing I'm doing is pouring vegetable oil into the hot pan. Now oil is a preference, so you can add as little or as much as you want. Then I'm just adding two frozen cloves of garlic. You can buy these from Asda. And I'm just breaking it up with my taru, <laughs> aka wooden spoon. I'm going to stir this around in the oil till it turns into a nice golden brown colour. And I probably should have defrosted the cloves, but never mind, it still works. I always think I'm funny when I'm cooking and I do weird stuff with the spoon so just ignore me. So it's kind of taking forever to turn golden brown but just keep stirring and have patience. Now I'm just adding the finely diced onions. I used three medium sized onions but remember you can use however many you want. Now I'm just going to mix that all together. Very simple. <laughs> You know it's like 5.30 in the morning and I'm doing a voiceover, can you believe it? I'm such a vampire. Next I'm adding one and a half teaspoons of salt. Don't add too much salt because you won't be able to get it out later. But you can also, you can always add more if you want to. Now I'm just adding a couple of bay leaves and I'm also going to add some cinnamon sticks and this is just going to give the curry a really nice aroma and also make the curry a lot more flavoursome and us Asians you know we love to add like all these herbal things. So I let that um, kind of simmer for about five minutes till the onions go kind of like that. <laughs> I'm not even like um, explaining things properly. I'm so bad at this. And my sister just decided to be funny and just come in. So now I'm just adding half a teaspoon of turmeric, two teaspoons of Bolt's curry powder, two teaspoons of Raja curry powder, and finally, two teaspoons of chilli powder. Chilli powder is preference, so you can add as much as you want. And my mom decided to show you her sea bass that she had made. So yeah, now what I'm going to do is mix that all together because the last thing you want is a powdery curry. So make sure you really mix the um, curry powders and chilli powders together. I decided to add some water because this prevents the onions from sticking to the pan and also burning. Now I'm just adding the chicken in and I used 12 drumsticks. Now you've got to be really delicate with this chicken because they can break easily and I don't even know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> but yeah, I was joking around way too much when I was um, doing this tutorial. And as you can see, I'm being really delicate and I'm stirring that chicken and I'm kind of getting the onions all on top of the chicken so you know the flavors can really get into the chicken and make it all nice and flavorsome guys I talk too much in it so now it's starting to look pretty good but you don't want to eat raw chicken So make sure you kind of make space for all the chicken so it can cook nicely. Now I just added the uh, ginger and the reason why I add ginger is because it overpowers the smell of the chicken and it makes it a lot more tasty, I'm not even joking. And I do this with um, lamb curry as well and you don't want you know your curry to smell like you know 
meat or raw meat so that's the reason why I add ginger it just really overpowers the smell and it makes it taste nicer yeah so if you see any water coming out of the chicken that is completely normal that is meant to happen it just means it's cooking really well okay like so as you can see there is like water now what I'm gonna do is add some chopped tomatoes and I used one medium-sized tomato and literally just yeah put that in there and I don't know why I absolutely love adding tomato in my curry it just makes all the difference and I just topped it off with some fresh freshly chopped coriander and yeah I don't know I just love it I just love the look of it as well and guys um, I let this kind of simmer for about 20 minutes and voila your chicken curry is done you know with chicken curry it takes not that much time and I hope you enjoyed it bye